without going into too much detail right now, we'll have further detail, but a little detail. Uh, me and Brian took a trip this, uh, when was that? August? Yeah, August. Man, yep, I, I can't yep, believe it was that yep, long yep. ago. I know. It feels like time flies, man. The weeks just go so fast now. But yeah, we... Uh, we went to England. We Yeah, we went. We had the fortunate um, opportunity to go to the UK. Um, we stayed in Manchester for a few days. We spent a night in Dublin. Um Oh. Oh, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> Let's just put her there. Okay. There you go. Ash, um, you but right there. like true degenerates, even though we were <laughs> on business abroad, yes. doing our own thing, we made the the wise decision to go check out some poker rooms because ah, yeah, that's just <laughs> that's just what we do. Um, nah, bars, ah, whatever. No, we're good with that. Well, Strip clubs, did, we, nah, we're not going to do we that. Poker go, rooms, let's find some. We did go to a little bar in Dublin, which was pretty hot. No, that so. was cool. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we spent a night in Dublin, which was awesome. I highly recommend um checking it out i mean it we we got one night dose of it and we've already talked about going back, going back which we we fully are you know hoping that we do we unfortunately didn't check out any poker rooms there yeah it was kind of last minute um but... yeah it was kind of well you know, our flight got canceled and we got stuck and it was a whole nightmare but it turned out to be a good experience because we got to spend a night there but okay so when we were in Manchester, we checked out two rooms. The first we're going to talk about is uh, Manchester 235. So if you don't know, a lot of these clubs um, in the UK are exactly that. They're not necessarily casinos. They're like they're like mini clubs mm -hmm. where you you can sign up, you become a member. It's it's some some have a membership fee, some have a cost, but most are free. Um, so we went, we checked it out. Uh, the poker room was was pretty legit at 12 tables. Um, and like the other places that you've visited and you've talked about before, 18 to get in. Um, the casino itself was uh, kind of small because, like I said, it's... it's Yeah, it was like upstairs. And yeah. It was definitely just yeah, a couple slots. There was there was a couple table games. Yeah. The poker room took up a lot downstairs, actually. That was yeah, probably one of the bigger it's chunks. It's scaled down just because they're not like... It's not like here in the, in the U.S. where we do everything grand and luxurious. It was pretty much for what it was. You want to gamble? <laughs> Come gamble. There's a little place in the corner. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The one thing, though, that stood out that I think we weren't – there was, a, I mean, there was a couple things we'll talk about that stood out in England that we weren't used to. But one, they check you in, like, as soon as you walk in. Like, yeah. You, yep. you can't even walk in the door without a card. Like, it's not like U.S. casinos where you can kind of get in. Once You know, U.S., they'll check your IDs. But there, they actually check your player's card. Like, you need the club card to even get past the security guard. Yep. If you don't have one, you have to get signed up for, like, ASAP. So that was the one thing, and that was both places we went to. And when I was in Barcelona, same thing. So that's a European thing, I think, that you need that player's card or they won't even let you walk any further than that. Yep. you got to present ID, your passport, something like that, right at the door. Um, and, again, if you plan on being back out there or staying out there, it has some incentives to it. Like they were, they were offering some, you know, I think they were offering like free roll tournaments for certain hours of play, kind of like we do here. But obviously, if you're just there for a short trip, it's not really going to do anything for you. Um, so when we first got there, the first thing we did, obviously, I was hungry. So we went upstairs. We ate the food selection at the bar that they have upstairs in the main, I guess you could say, casino floor was pretty good. Like, yeah. I was actually surprised because there was like one or two. There was like one bartender and then like one or two waitresses. And it was a full menu. We yeah. we, we, we both had the same thing. But... Um, it was pretty good. The one thing I did want to talk about, and this is not poker related, was um, I had a Mangers cider, and it's like an Irish uh, cider beer. Okay. And I am not into um, like seltzers. Like I'm like yeah, a yeah. traditional beer drinker, but I saw it was on tap, and I'm like, "What's a Mangers?" And he's like, "Oh, it's like a cider." And I was like, "Let me try it." And dude. I tell you right now, you go to my house, there's a six did pack get, of mangers did you get in my, Yes. <laughs> like, dude, it is delicious. Is it like import or they make it here in the US too? No, it's I it's it's made I it's Irish cider. I don't know where they make it. Oh, okay. I guess it's like a big UK thing, but I was able to scoop a six pack at Canals for like fourteen dollars. <laughs> but man, it is delicious. And uh, like I'm on this kick now. Like I've been trying all these different cider beers, and I'm like, man. It, you went it to was England good. For three yes, days and dude, your eyes. got me hooked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, the casino is located about five minute drive from the Man U Stadium, which was also really cool. We got to see wait, that. You, wait, so here it was a funny joke. Remember the the cab driver when we were driving up? So we were driving in. I don't know if you remember this. 
Um, we were driving into our hotel, our first hotel when we got in, and we had a cab driver taking us there. And he's like, yeah, I can't do the accent, but he had like a thick accent. He's like, all right, boys. He's like, on the left, it's going to smell like shit in a minute. Oh, and yes, yes. And I was yes, like, yes, what? Yes. And he rolled down the windows. I'm thinking my head like, really, dude? Like, what the fuck, man? Like, come on, man. And yeah. he's like, there it is. The Manchester Man just, U. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Man U Stadium. <laughs> it smells like shit. We all started laughing. I'm like, that's a pretty funny line. That's a good, that's a good one. Um, so they spread a bunch of games. They had 12 tables at the poker at the poker room, which I thought was kind of a lot considering the size of the casino. Um, but the one thing that stood out, and I know you're going to agree with this, was uh, they have this self-serve oh, beverage that. station yes. right now look i know some of you are probably like what the fuck are you talking about so they literally have like a soda bar and mm-hmm. ca- a, a, a coffee bar available for anyone to use to walk up and that's playing so like they have a full-fledged legitimate like cappuccino yes. espresso yes. coffee maker that you can kind of select pick what you want and then they have like a whole selection of like fountain sodas that you can just go up. Whatever you want. People you in England get. are probably like, so what? The, you know, who cares? But like in the US, like everything's going to be served or whatever. Like that was, dude, the coffees were good. I mean, those cappuccinos. Yes. I was just, I was like, all right, I'm just going to keep chugging these cappuccinos. But we talked about it after the fact. Like with the way the US is, I couldn't imagine a self serve <laughs> coffee or soda bar. You'd have some bums in Atlanta. In the, absolutely, you'd have some bums in the oh, one hundred percent. You'd have legit derelicts who have no housing, no no shame to the homeless. Look, I'm sorry for your unfortunate circumstances, but it just wouldn't work. Like it wouldn't work. Security would be like, "Yo, we got to get rid of this." It's just bringing in too many people <laughs> yeah. off the street looking for free, free soda and free coffee. Um, yeah, the coffee machine was legit, though. It was definitely yeah, legit. it was. It was awesome. But overall, the uh, the play I thought was pretty passive. There wasn't many raises. We played, I guess, their version of one two, um, and again, the pound in the conversion from the dollar. There's you know different conversion rates and things like that. So I think we both bought in for like two hundred pounds or like it's close to two hundred pounds. So the betting we kind of had to get a little bit used to because of the denominations and things like that. Yeah, which is off a um, little bit, it, just a little. Um, but then again, I know we had talked about this previously. With um, I think you might have talked about it when you were in Spain or you had visited some of the other casinos. There's like a no tipping, like yeah. I don't say it's a clause, but like it's just something that's not done, and yeah, yeah. it threw me for like. The dealers, it threw me for a loop for the, sure. The dealers, yeah, they don't really get tipped there like it is in the U.S. for cash games, like not at all. So that tipping is like out the window. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, I mean, we stood out like sore thumbs. First off, a hundred percent. I mean, there was no blending in. I mean, we were fine playing and everything like that, but we stood out like, you know, sort. Of, we talked to a couple people in the thing, but dude, like a lot of their accents are so thick, man. Like, you know, you get a lot of guys that are just have those sticks. There's the one guy at the end. Yes. And he just yes. Remind- on, on our right side. Yes. 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 And he reminded me of the dude from Euro trip. And he's like the swamp donkeys. <laughs> and the yes. I was like, what is this dude Seriously. saying? <laughs> and it's just, the and this is the thing, like the amount of emotion behind conversation, like I thought that there was going to be fights like often. Cause I'm like, yo, like, why is this dude screaming? Yeah. And it was just him, like, having a normal conversation. Yeah, just very uh, animated conversation. Yes, animated. That's it. Yep. Yeah, but, yeah, they have a very thick accent, like, you know, just a lot of slang. And I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> like, this is yeah. English, and I have no idea. I found myself doing this a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I was yanning these guys to death. That's who were trying to talk to us. Yeah, a lot of slang. I was like, I have no idea what they're saying. When I speak English. Um, but, yeah, no tipping. And I even I even apologized to the dealer, like, towards the end of the night. I'm like, dude, I haven't won a pot in, like, three hours. I, I just, <laughs> I've wanted to tip you the whole night, but I haven't really had an opportunity. And he's like, yeah, no, we don't tip. And I was just like, oh. He's like, that's an American thing. And I'm like, damn. Okay. Crazy. Um, and then the other thing that stood out was – it w- there was no chopping allowed at the game. None. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. It was that. a rule. Um, I, I'm assuming it was a house rule, but we I don't know if we even brought this up at the Grovesner, but you weren't permitted to chop. Okay. It was it was something that that the house wasn't allowing. Like you pretty much either had to fold, um, your small blind if it folded around to you, or complete. There was no option to to chop. Gotcha. Um. 
which, I mean, we've talked about this on previous podcasts. I have a really big issue with people <laughs> who don't chop. So needless to say, when I asked the guy to my left, do you chop? And he was like, "What? No." I was like, "What?" Oh, uh, here we go. And then the dealer was like, "No, no, no. We don't. Th- that's they don't do that here." And it had to be explained to me before I took my shiv out. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, I was I was surprised that it was like a house rule. So, um, but definitely a good time. We really, really enjoyed ourselves. I think. Um, we left after. Remember, they drug that. They, they drug that. <laughs> Some dude got drugged yes, out the store. Yes, they, they d- literally <laughs> drug this dude down the escalator, <laughs> out the door, and it was raining because in Manchester it rains what like, two hundred and ten days yeah, of the year. Like it's like it's like the UK day. version of Seattle. So I was like, I looked at my clock, my watch. I was like, All right, dude, you ready? <laughs> Let's get <laughs> out of here. So um, it was good. Overall, a good experience. I recommend checking it out when you're out there. Manchester 235.